Okay, this machine here is a 35 ton uh, beam press. This is a great machine, not just a beam press, but it's a CNC beam press or an auto feed. So it has pinch rollers at the back of the machine. You put one, two, as many layers as you need to. We've set some grid up back here so that we could put a roll of uh, this material. But you can run multiple layers through here. We have it set up so that uh, the, the reason you'd want this machine is to obviously reduce labor. It's going to come down and cut, the material's going to advance. You just literally have people just picking up the pieces. Okay, when you first get your machine, you're going to need to fill it with hydraulic fluid. O'Reilly's has about the least expensive, about $45, $50 for five gallon. I go to Pet Boys, they're trying to charge $75 to $90 for five gallons. AW32. Uh, to AW46 will be fine and will work for you. Hydraulic fluid goes in right here. Put down some cardboard or something as you're putting it in so you're not spilling it and getting it all over here and making a slippery surface. You need to be about half inch over your filter, which is back here on the right hand side. So put a flashlight back there and be able to look at that. Keep it about a half inch above the replacement, when it needs to be replaced, and your filter replacements in the maintenance part of the manual so you can take a look at that. When you're wiring this for the first time, uh, you should have it done by a licensed electrician. You don't want to computer or anything in here by guessing. So uh, if it's a three phase 220 volt and uh, once you set up your wiring, you come over here and see on the motor there's an arrow right here and when you turn it on for the first time look at the fan make sure the fans going in the direction of the motor if it's not then your polarity set wrong and you'll need to make an adjustment press comes with some uh, quick mounting brackets and essentially you put them anywhere you would like these and they can go down or up so that you can put your die board you may need to you may need to make several different locations for putting these. We don't know what kind of dies you have, so they're gonna come just like this. So basically, drill yourself a hole, tap it, and you can put the bolt in and out, slide this up and down to capture your die board wherever you're gonna use it at. Today, we're just using some quick clamps for demonstration to show you. Okay, here's your adjustment for your pinch rollers. Okay, up and down right here. Okay. If you need a little more pressure or less pressure, you can come here and adjust it. Tighten this back up. Okay. Oh, wrong wrench. It helped we have the right wrench. In any case. So that's where you make your fine adjustments on both sides uh, to make sure that it's feeding uh, true and not feeding a little quicker. If you got one side tighter than the other, it's going to tend to pull your material in at a little bit of an angle. Okay, I'll show you how the light curtain works quickly here. It is a safety feature that I recommend. So we tell this to start right now, and I put my hand in there, it stops and goes to the upright position. You can see it's on over here, if I turn it off, you got nothing. Turn it on over here, let that come back on, okay, like that. So, stop, cut, stop, cut, stop. So, Real good feature, required in most states, so I would uh, recommend having it. Okay, when you're first starting to do job, you need to put your material down, make sure your cutting board's in place, and your cutting board is mounted. Turn your cutting setting to the right, and bring this down until it's just kissing it. Okay. Once you've done that, turn your cutting setting back to the left, the machine lifts up automatically and it's ready to go. You can run this machine in manual state or you can run it in auto, auto or uh, auto manual. So uh, right now we're in uh, manual state and so I can manually 
manually forward my deck. Okay, there we go. I can see just a little bit right there. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to adjust my cutting depth just a little bit. Okay. Three different safety switches on here. Takes uh, in its manual mode, two hands, safety feature. So come over. You can forward your material, take your material back again. In its manual mode, I can cut single time just like this. I can switch to a full automatic. Cut. We'll advance. I can change the delay on this. I can change the uh, the speed which is going down, the height that is coming up and down. Literally, it's going to advance. I'm picking up my pieces, putting them over here, advancing again, picking up my pieces. And if you really want to make the employees happy, just keep coming in here and uh, changing that speed each day by just a little bit. They'll get very very fast real fast. So you can see fully automatic. And then I'll show you the, see I put my hand in front of the light curtain and immediately it shot back up, did what it's supposed to do. It's a wonderful machine. It's going to save you a lot of money and labor and uh, they're workhorses. So very little that can go wrong with these. But uh, if you have any questions about these or any of our other machines, give us a holler. Thank you. CJR Tech has been in the manufacturing business for more than a decade, with offices in the USA, Philippines, Korea and China. We are an international company with sales all over the world. CJR specializes in all types of specialized cutting machines with emphasis on automated cutting. Nearly all of our machines are customer built to customer specific needs. CJR is not the only company in this market segment, but they are the only company that can make custom machines from 10 tons to 350 tons in a variety of table sizes and machine types. Today, CJR enjoys annual sales that nearly doubles all USA-based competition with the best warranty in the business and the best customer service anywhere. If you want to do business with a company that always answers the phone and values customer service over anything else, you're in the right place. Welcome to CJR Tech, a different type of company.